Welcome to the Privacy Wayfinder. Today we're looking at Apple iOS and my device just got updated to iOS 16.2, which has advanced data protection. So we're gonna go through enabling that. I haven't done it yet, so this is my first time going through it. All of my videos are filmed on this device, but we're kind of flipping it here. So this device that I am filming with is my Pixel 5 running Graphene OS, and I'm using the stock camera app. So this is a good test to see how the stock camera app performs in this type of environment. And my mic that I use with my iPhone is not compatible with my Android device. So the audio that you hear right now is through the mic that's on the Pixel 5. Okay, so let's turn on advanced data protection for the first time on this device. Let's go to settings. We need to go to our Apple account and let's jump to iCloud. So once you get to this screen, we're gonna click on advanced data protection. And so here, iCloud encrypts your data to keep it secure. Advanced data protection uses end-to-end -end encryption to ensure that iCloud data types listed here, so which is here, you can see this on the screen, can only be decrypted on your trusted devices. So for those who use iOS as a daily device for messages, uh, using the iCloud drive for their files, Safari bookmarks, their wallet passes, all of this information will now be end-to-end -end encrypted, which is awesome. I believe there's three items that are still not into an encrypted, calendar, contacts, and mail. I believe those are the three, um, but everything else in iCloud will now be into an encrypted. Let's go through the process. Let's turn on advanced data protection. And here it's giving you a warning. You will be responsible for data recovery. Because it's end to end encrypted, you're gonna be responsible for setting up your recovery method. And here you can see recovery methods are things like recovery contact, or you can set up a recovery key. So what I'm gonna do is set up a recovery key once we get to that option. So let's move forward, set up account recovery. So the recovery key is a 28 character code that you keep in a safe place. So if you ever get locked out, you would go back to that 28 character code, enter that in to gain access to your iCloud data. So let's set up a recovery key and let's turn on recovery key. Another warning, are you sure you want to create a recovery key? As you can see through the process, Apple is continually reminding the user if they lose their recovery key, they will not have access to the data, which makes sense because it is end-to-end -end encrypted. Let's say use recovery key. I'm gonna put in my passcode. Okay, so here is the recovery key. And again, Apple is giving the recommendation to print a copy or write down your recovery code. Hit continue. Here you have to verify it. Put in my recovery key, so let's hit next. So it went through and once you verified your recovery key, you're taken back to the recovery key screen and now you can see that recovery key is on. If you lose your recovery key, or it gets into the hands of someone, it appears that you can create a new recovery key and go through the process. So let's hit back. And now you can see recovery key is on. Okay, so we went back. Now we're back to the Apple ID section. Let's go back to iCloud. Let's scroll down. And interesting, advanced data protection is still off. So let's click on that. So it is possible that because I didn't have account recovery set up initially when I clicked on turn on advanced protection. It took me to the account recovery process and now takes me back to try to turn it on again. Let's turn on, comes back to the same prompt, review recovery methods, so let's click. And I need to put in the key again. We're back, my recovery key is in, let me hit next. It prompts me to enter my iPhone passcode. And finally, advanced data protection is now on. And again, another reminder to keep your recovery method up to date. And Apple is letting you know that if you lose access to a, your account, you will need your recovery key or recovery contact to get your data back. Let's hit done. At this point, looks like advanced data protection is on. So if I go back, you can see here, it is in fact on. Hope this video helped and I'll see you in the next one.